Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for chapter 14 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, second edition. And in this video, we're going to do is briefly look at interpreting zero inflated and hurdle count models. So even though in the previous uh, videos and through the chapter, we landed on negative binomial regression model being the best model given the, the data, um, I want to take a look at how do we interpret um, the zero inflated and hurdle models. And, and we already have the sort of skills, if you will, to, to interpret it. It's just about putting it together. Okay, so we are going to um, use the ggpredict function, which we've used before here. Um, and we are going to do it sort of as a combination of um, the predicted uh, sort of the predicted zero or one for the inflation or the binary part, and then also for the count part. So let's start with the the zero inflated Poisson model. So we're going to do gg predict, okay, and then we're going to do model dot zip. Um, the only statistically significant predictor was uh, tweetdom. So we will do terms equals tweetdom. And then, right, so the GG predict we've used before, and we need a way to differentiate which part of the model that we're looking at because it has the two parts. It has the inflation equation, it has the count part. So first, let's look at the count part. Uh, we are going to include this option type equals quote zero inflated. All right. That option will focus in just on the count part of the zip model. All right, let's highlight this and run this. All right. So the output looks very similar to what we've seen before. Um, I'm just leaving the mean, sort of holding a uh, woman lead author in full profit their means, but in the previous ones we looked at how to set those to their modes. Okay, so here here is the predicted for if an article was not tweeted, and then this one is for if it was tweeted. Um, when we do, when we kind of verbalize or write down the interpretation um, there is a bit of language we want to include uh, for this all right um, we want to preface it by signaling that this is for uh, articles that are not always zero all right so in in the chapter I have some language on this uh, I'm just gonna phrase it up here as well Okay, so let's look at the, uh, this value right here, and we will it will interpret this as so uh, for articles that are not expected to always have zero citations, the predicted number of citations for tweeted articles is 5.37. Okay, and or separately, you know, we could do it together or separately. We could also say for articles that are not expected to always have zero citations, the predicted number of citations for non-tweeted articles is 2.31. All right, so again, we're talking about predicted counts, um, but we're just preferencing it saying like, this is among the set that's not predicted to always be zero. Okay, now if we want to interpret the um, the inflation equation, we're going to use ggpredict again. Same thing, zip, terms, tweet dumb. And then in, for type, what we'll do is we'll use this option here, zi underscore prob. All right, zero inflation probability. Actually, I don't even know what it stands for, but that's, <laughs> that's what I'm guessing, right? Like it's probability. Oh, yeah, that's prob. All right. Um, let's highlight that and run that. 
Okay, so again, these are these are their their means. Um, so we have zero, we have one. Okay. Now, if you remember from the output in the previous video, the tweet dumb coefficient was negative, right? So the idea was that the higher category is an article was tweeted. So if an article is tweeted, then they have a lower probability of always being zero, which this shows this, right? So if it's tw if an article that's tweeted, uh, the predicted probability is, is 0.12, and if it's not tweeted, then it's 0.28. Um, again, in the chapter, I have more specific language, um, but we can interpret this to say um, uh, for for tweeted articles, the predicted probability of always having zero citations is 0.12 or 12%, and then for non-tweeted articles, the predicted probability of always having zero citations is 0.28 or 28%. Okay, um, that's it for for zero inflated models. Now let's look at um, let's look at the hurdle model, which is very it's very similar. There's some sort of nuances with it though. Okay, so we're going to use ggpredict again, and we are going to here, okay, sorry, we're going to do ggpredict model hp, and then terms, and then we're not going to even include this part, okay, because, be, because, because the hurdle model treats this as separate. Um, we're not go. We don't need to specify anything for for the um, for the count part. We'll see. In, we'll see in a minute that that it's a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit different for the the um, the binary outcome part. All right. So let's let's highlight this and run this. Okay. So we see these are higher, right? So here's a predicted probability from zero inflated. This is from um, the hurdle model. Now, what is driving this is that the zero inflated count, right? If you remember, this is zero truncated. So this is the effect just among articles that have at least one citation. So these, as we might expect, the predicted values are gonna be higher because it's taking out all the, all the zeros that are in the data. So um, to interpret this, we would say uh, for, for articles with at least one citation, the predicted number of citations for tweeted articles is 6.02, and for non-tweeted -tweet art articles is 3.21, okay? And then lastly, we will look at the binary part, which here we actually do need to specify it. Um, so we're gonna do model HP, and then even though it's the hurdle, we're gonna use this uh, option here, type equals ZI prob. This will get at that binary part. So let's highlight this. Okay, how do we interpret this? So, again, this is a little bit different. So the hurdle model, if you remember, the coefficient for tweet was positive because this is predicting a different thing. Um, this is predicting the probability of having at least one citation, right? So the predicted probability of, of a positive count. So we could say, um, for tweeted articles, the predicted probability of having at least one citation is 0.88 or 88%. And for non-tweeted articles, the predicted probability is 0.72 or 72%. Now, you might notice something, and that is that 0.28 <laughs> and 0.72 adds up to 1. 
and 0.12 and 0.88 add up to 1. So zero inflated and hurdle are sort of the binary part is sort of predicting that the sort of inverse of each other, right? Or the reverse over each other, whatever you want to call it. But they add up to one. Um, we don't always get results like this, but but given the data that we have and the model that we have, we saw that that essentially the zero inflated and hurdle model is do they're doing the same thing. Okay, so that is it. Uh, for this video, this is the last video for chapter 14. And so given that, let's knit the file. Let's knit the markdown file. I don't think there's anything that will take necessarily a long time, barring errors that might be in there, which is wouldn't be surprised. Um, we see it's running. Nothing in the code itself, but there still could be problems. We're waiting. All right, we got this spit out. We have a PDF file that will be saved in the working directory. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.